Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into another video here today. I'm Jay Canada and we've got another draft mode today. And oftentimes with these drafts, I think of a theme and then I think of like the players that would fit the theme. Maybe I take one to start my lineup, but today it's actually the opposite. Today I thought of a player. I found a player that I needed to use in a video, a card, and then I thought of a theme. So the player I acquired this weekend because I finally finished a uh, limited, like I know a lot of you guys did my fourth and final ring and I unlocked this bad boy right here. Dark Dark Matter Elgin Baylor, an absolutely insane card. And I'm not just saying that. I didn't have high expectations, but when I used him in a few games, bro, I was like, I got to use Elgin in some videos. This dude is amazing. And as we know, Elgin Baylor, uh, he passed away earlier this year. Rest in peace to an absolute legend, an icon of the NBA game, both as a player and later as like a front office member. Did Elgin coach? I, I don't know if Elgin coached, but I know he was a GM. In any event, though, when I think of Elgin Baylor, when I think of historic players, in the NBA, I think of guys like Elgin, like Bill Russell, like Will. Dudes who played a long time ago had an impact on the game. And that is why today we are doing the historic, the most historic players draft. And as I like to do, I am going to start my lineup free with this Dark Matter Elgin Baylor. All right, no consequence. I just get to put them in my lineup, but the other nine slots will be filled with players whom I select from these two KMT Central Rainbow Packs. I'm going to open nine more of these. I'm going to take the player I deem to be the most historic from each pack. So as always, this is basically up to my discretion so you might disagree I'm just doing this in the moment let me know if you do disagree with any of my selections but I'm looking for players who played a long time ago and made an impact so I'm sure we'll agree on most of these but let's get into it come on let's move and up first first pack hopefully we get some historic players here uh you know what this one's pretty simple i mean luca he's on his way to being an absolute historic player but not there yet mitch richmond part of the run tmc crew in golden state one of the greatest shooters of the 1990s definitely historic money mitch and elgin not a bad way to start our team what comes uh what comes next here oh my oh my goodness okay this one could definitely go one of two ways so glenn robinson has an awesome nickname they called him big dog uh, really good player, definitely an all-star, I think, at the time with Milwaukee. But Scott Skiles is historic because he holds a super random record of having the most assists in an individual NBA game with 33. By virtue of him holding that record, to me, he's more historic because I know Scott Skiles because of that. Oh, wait, I screwed that up. Scott Skiles, 30 assists. I, I don't know why I thought 33. Everything else I said still is true. I guess this could be most historic or maybe most iconic player, but this is just how I interpret this theme. Anyways, we move on. Killian and Pirtle, no wow oh we, we got some interest hmm you know Stefan Marbury or Latrell Sprewell both have their moments in history for for different reasons Stefan Marbury kind of a cancerous teammate Latrell Sprewell once choked his coach but I think Spud Webb is definitely the most historic an NBA dunk champion and he was super short makes sense two point guards though already and two small point guards that's just begging for me to take an L with the way 2k is currently constructed but we move okay we move to the this round you know Walter Davis he didn't really mean anything to me like I don't know much about him but between him and Dan Marley Dan Marley was on that Suns team that went to the finals but Walter Davis older played earlier in the uh, history of the NBA so we'll count that some of these rounds aren't going to be very uh, scientific it's just going to be what I feel you know what, what can I say Hopefully we get some big men here. Okay. All right. Okay. So mm -hmm. this one's uh, this one's definitely Andre Miller because he's the only like veteran veteran and he had a really long career and like never missed a game. But because I have too many point guards already, well, I already have two. I'm just going to omit Andre Miller from this group. And after Andre Miller, I would definitely say it's between Gasol and Ibaka. But because Mark does have, wait, they both have a championship. They were both on that Raptors team. Gosh, darn it. But Mark Gasol won defensive player of the year over LeBron in 2013. People are never going to let that go because bronze stands be crazy. So for that reason and everything else he's accomplished, Marcus Gasol, most historic from this round. It's videos like this that I wish position locks weren't a thing because then, yeah, I could take 10 point guards. And well, that would suck. So maybe I am glad position locks are a thing. Ah, this one's easy. We got two Zions. He might be historic one day, but Dennis Rodman for all his antics, definitely one of the most historic players in NBA history. I don't think I have this specific rewards card, but we'll take a Dennis card. Lineup coming together real nice. We need three spots, uh, three more spots in our lineup filled. And I will say with the exception of maybe that Walter Davis one, uh, these are all pretty historic players. The steam is working out very nicely. Um, Okay, Glenn Rice. This is, this is kind of a lame round. I jinxed myself there. 
Michael Red, Glenn Rice, the only former players. Glenn definitely won a championship with one of those Lakers teams, I believe also was like uh, an all-star one year. He had a crate. He had like 25 points a game one season. Yeah, he was a three-time all-star, 2000 NBA champ. I got that right with the Lakers. Yo, he averaged 27 a game one season. That's crazy. Michael Red was no slouch either, but uh, Glenn Rice, more of a historic impact for sure. Remember how good Glenn Rice was last year with his base 98 or Dwayne Wade base, whatever that overpowered one was, what a rewards card he was. But enough about Glenn Rice. We move. We move on to our second last pack and uh, oof. All right, this is easily John Stockton. Like, yeah, playoff P, you're not there yet. But can I for can I put John? I need him to actually work in my lineup. And you know what? Glenn Rice can play power forward. Walter Davis can play shooting guard. And Johnny Stock can play. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's not looking like the best bench there. We we need a big man, like someone that's bigger than six foot five, is what I mean. And we will go in the final round on our final round until I find a somewhat historic big man. All right, I need someone who can play center. Just the way two K works. No. God Oh, come on. Are we really doing this? Are we really doing George Murazan? George Murazan. Okay, he's a rewards card. I need to check that I have him in my collection. Obviously, at seven foot a million. He's pretty historic for that. 12 seconds later. Okay, so bad news. I don't have this George in my collection. He was a random rewards card. There isn't a single Murazan card on the auction house either. Like, he hasn't been released. So, unfortunately, we can't use this guy. But maybe in the next pack, another chance at a historic big man. Nope, Jacob Pirtle. Nope. Come on, bro. Just a center eligible player who has happens to be in the game. Not a, not a George Mirazan. Mike Muscala, Chris Boucher. No. Why is this so difficult? Why? Why? Why is this so tough? Why is this so tough? Oh, okay. Really? With the Ruby? I guess we're taking a Kareem. I mean, I don't have that Ruby version, but I'll take this basic diamond version. He's still not very good at this point in the year. So there we go. That is actually a pretty historic draft. And I got my boy Elgin. I don't need any other card. Well, I probably could have used a better lineup, but we move. Let's make the lineup in 2K. And here's how the lineup looks uh, in my team in 2K. Not too shabby. I mean, pretty outdated, this Mitch Richmond, Marcus Soul card, but hopefully Elgin and Dennis Rodman can carry us. I mean, if I get a ridiculously loaded opponent, like I stand no chance anyways, but we'll see. And we get a uh, ridiculously loaded opponent. Yeah. In fact, he's got uh, Larry Johnson and TJ Warren. So not only is his lineup good, but he wins games in unlimited. Like, bro, this... I. Skill-based matchmaking kills me in these videos because it doesn't matter what lineup I run. I'd be getting opponents who are just, man, okay. And maybe this Dennis Rodman will be all right. Um, he's not really an offensive card, but you know what? Let's do it. Let's try and ISO Bill Russell with uh, <laughs> with Dennis Rodman. Surprisingly, that did not work. <gasps> Marcus Sola. Maybe it did work. Good find, Dennis. Oh my goodness, what a bait. This dude's trash. He's trash. Let's go, Elgin. First shot with you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. First, J. I could have had a wide open dunk, but I pulled for three. That's what I do with Elgin. Yo, that was really good defense too. Like that was a perfect bait. What are you doing, my guy? Oh, that worked. You really let him do that, 2K? No, Bill Russell's wide open. Oh, Bill Russell missed it. No, 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 he's still wide open. Gosh darn it. That was only a two though, right? No, nope, it was a three. And he's right back in this game. Come on, I got to carry with Elgin. I got, to, oh my word, this Larry Johnson defending like crazy. Okay, okay, uh, Elge, Elge to the rim. That is a horrible attempted finish. Oh, kick out for three. Oh, back to Gasol. Okay, okay, okay. I'm figuring some stuff out here. I don't think my opponent's like super unreal at this game, but obviously he knows what he's doing, which is making my life very difficult right now. I'll keep taking these twos though. I put my boy Spud Webb in here. Kareem coming in soon. I don't think I'm going to be able to run the entire bench. Uh, okay, that's a good stop. That's a good stop. Yeah, yep. What? Why is that? Man, I wish that was my ball. Oh, let's go Spud Webb. When you know, when Spud Webb's in, you know I'm going for dunks. You know I'm going for dunks and that's it. Mitch Richmond corner. That's a good look. Dang it, Jay. I got to time that better. Wait a minute. He's not contesting that. Oh, but freaking Larry Johnson is, dude, I am just, I promise you all, when you're using a good team, this Elgin is fire. I can't, I just can't do anything with him right now. Mitch, I need it. I need it, Mitch. <laughs> that was wide open. There we go, Elgin, with the tip in. Okay, I mean, Mia being able to hold this dude, he's only got 22 points right now. I feel like that's a W. What? Dennis, just contest that, my guy. I'll be honest, I don't feel great about the rest of this game, but uh, who knows? Look at how tired he is. Good dime, good dime, good dime. Nope, 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 Dennis missed. Okay, yep, I'm gonna need some serious magic from third quarter, Jay. I don't know if I have the horses to give it to me. I'm not sure. All 
All right, guys, somehow I'm in this game. Third quarter, Jay working some magic. I mean, I'm still down 10, but uh, that feels like a W for me. And maybe, just maybe, we can pull out the actual dub ski. Uh, Elgin all of a sudden has 20 points, too. I got loose with him in that third quarter. Oh, that's wide open. John Stock. John Stock. Okay, outdated card. It's true, but that's a good looking jumper. Elgin pull up three. Oh, we got it though. I was definitely trying to quick stop there. Didn't work. Oh my word. Elgin has takeover. It's over. It's over. Dime over to Gasol. Come on, baby. Come on, Elgin. Ah, uh, that's a horrible shot. Ooh, Marcus on the rebound. So, oh my goodness. Five point game. No, that's off. That's off. Okay. This game is so sloppy. Let's go, Elgin. Uh, <laughs> freaking. <laughs> no, he caught it in a double team. What are the chips? What are the chances of that? I couldn't even move. Wow. There's one. There's one at least. Wait a minute. This game's not over. His takeover is going to run out soon. Did you see where I hit that shot from? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, Hold on. No threes. Just no threes. No, I'm not trying to jump. That was bad defense. Dang. It. If I can find a three on this possession, I might still have a chance. But I think I think it's all over. But the crying. Hold on. He's jumping. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> The, the, maybe maybe we have a miracle let me see oh my goodness now he's going off now this man is going off oh dude i need him to miss one free throw here y'all please miss one just one just one is all i'm asking darn it i think everybody knows where i'm going with this ball including my opponent um so me yeah this is bad this is bad oh that was space i should have shot that originally uh, dark. That was actually pretty good luck. Well, I mean, can't say I didn't have my chances there. Okay, so four point loss, really not bad. I'm taking that as a W. My opponent, way better team. He had unlimited rewards, which means he's somewhat good at this game. And I was right there. Somehow, Elgin Baylor playing with a horrible supporting cast, no other good cards out here. I was still able to drop 34, five and seven. I obviously missed way too many shots, but I promise you, man, when you run this card with other good players, Players. He is a sharp shooting machine. Like you saw some of the shots I was hitting. Also, if my timing on shots had been better, that's on me. Anyways, this card really, really elite. I can't believe I dropped 34 with him in that game. I definitely missed a chance when he had take over there in the fourth. If I was able to go crazy, I might have been able to win, but my opponent definitely did a good job defending. Dennis Rodman, the unsung hero, the low key beast of this game, played all 20 minutes too. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. Another draft mode, you all seem to love these. So, give me a thumbs up if you did and let me know other themes you might like to see this was a super fun excuse to use one of my new favorite cards elgin baylor but i can do a bunch of different themes so let me know down below and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new also check out my second channel basketball cinema brand new upload there link in the description i will see you all in the next one though i'm jay canada hope you have a fantastic day peace